Hello everyone, welcome back. In the new session of biochemistry, we are going to deal with the structure and function of one of the biologically important nucleotide, that is flavin adenine nucleotide or FAD. Okay, the flavin adenine dinucleotide, it consists of two portions, as you can see in this particular structure. And uh, you can see it is uh, formed of two parts. This one, it is the flavin mononucleotide or the FMN. And this part, it is the adenosine monophosphate or the AMP. Okay. The flavin mononucleotide, it, just like the uh, nicotinamide uh, nucleotide in the case of NAD, it is also the uh, FMN is also a pseudonucleotide. Okay. The flavin mononucleotide, it is otherwise known as flavin ribitol monophosphate and it is formed of the flavin ribitol and a phosphate group. Okay. So, this part, it is the flavin part. This one, the ribitol part, and you have the, the phosphate part. Okay, so this together, it forms the flavin ribitol monophosphate or flavin mononucleotide, uh, popularly known as FMN, right? And uh, this part, it is adenosine monophosphate, which is formed of adenine, the nitrogenous base, the sugar, the ribose sugar, and a single phosphate molecule okay that is adenosine monophosphate and these two monophosphates are being connected via a phospho bond okay so this is how the uh, adenine nuclear flavin adenine dinucleotide is formed now why this flavin mononucleotide or the flavin ribitol monophosphate is considered to be a pseudonucleotide the first and foremost reason instead of uh, the aldo sugar uh, here, sorry, what you call instead of the uh, pento sugar, you have a ribitol part. Okay, it doesn't have any ribose sugar. Instead, it is having a alcohol which is ribitol. Okay, so here you can see it is just uh, CCC written. It is actually uh, each of the carbon is attached to uh, a single hydrogen and a hydroxyl group. Okay, then only it will be completed. But still, it is actually a ribitol. So it is not a um, what you call aldo sugar it is not a ribose sugar instead it is uh, what you call ribitol uh, that is the first part secondly what happens is uh, the riboflavin okay this part the flavin part right the flavin part it is actually it is not a uh, nitrogenous base okay here you can see uh, adenine which is a nitrogenous base but instead of this in the case of flavin mononucleotide it is a Flavin part, which is never a uh, nuclear uh, nitrogen space, right? Thirdly, the flavin and ribitol connection that is the this bond. Okay, this is the ribitol and this is the flavin part, and this bond, the N and C bond, it is not a glycosidic bond. On the other hand, this bond, the N and C bond over here, it is a glycosidic bond. Okay, so here we don't have a glycosidic bond in the FMN. So, for all these three reasons, we can see that, we can conclude that the flavin mononucleotide or the uh, flavin ribitol monophosphate, it is a pseudonucleotide. I hope it is clear. Okay. So, a pseudonucleotide bonded to a nucleotide, adenosine nucleotide, it forms the flavin adenine dinucleotide. Now, what is the function? Just like NAD, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, this is also a vitaminous coenzyme. Okay, we can see this is the vitaminous part. Okay, it is actually the flavin part, which is uh, 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 the riboflavin part. Okay, it is uh, uh, enlarged over here. Uh, and you can see this is actually a derivative of vitamin B2, that is a riboflavin, right? It, it contains a flavin part and it contains a uh, ribitol part. And these two together form the riboflavin. So, this uh, FAD and uh, FMN, they are they are vitaminous coenzymes and they uh, usually function as the prosthetic groups for certain flavin-based enzymes. And these are known as flavoproteins, those enzymes which contain flavin as or riboflavin, FAD or FMN as the uh, coenzyme or the uh, prosthetic groups, they are known as flavoproteins. Okay, so the flavoproteins are basically conjugated proteins 
whose the pro whose prosthetic group is derivative of riboflavin or the vitamin B2. And the most important among them are the FAD and FMN. Now, what are their role? The FAD and FMN, uh, they are uh, just like the NAD, they can accept and donate electrons and protons. And what they do is the FAD, they, uh, this is the structure here. You can see this part is actually the flavin part and rest of the part is actually marked as R. Okay, this is the flavin part. Okay, uh, the rest of the FAD is uh, being uh, marked as R. I hope it is clear. Okay, so what happens is the FAD, it can accept electrons from a donor and it gets reduced to FADH2. Okay, uh, and in this reduced state, uh, it can donate electrons to another electron acceptor and get itself oxidized back. So it is actually a reversible redox reaction. Okay, uh, uh, reduced substrate can bind with FAD. Okay, and during this reaction, the hydrogen or the electron can be passed on to the FAD and this FAD can get reduced to FADH2. Simultaneously, the other substrate, it can get oxidized. Clear? So, that is a redox reaction. Similarly, this particular uh, FADH2, it can give off the hydrogen or the electron and then it can uh, become oxidized to FAD. Right? And the substrate which receives the electron or the hydrogen from the FADH2, it becomes reduced. So, it is a reversible redox reaction. Now, what is the difference between NAD and FADH2 in this account? Because if NAD also receives uh, electrons or uh, uh, the what you call protons and get reduced to NADH and it is also a reversible reaction. But here, in the case of FAD, it can accept two hydrogen atoms at a time. Okay, that is uh, the uh, hydrogen atoms which are... Uh, two hydrogen atoms which are released from the uh, what you call the substrate it can be uh, taken up by the FAD here you can see uh, you have to note over here this nitrogen and this nitrogen on the FAD okay both this nitrogen can receive a hydrogen atom and it can get reduced to FADH2 what happens in the case of NAD is NAD can receive only a single hydrogen atom at a time and it can only become NADH Okay, so that is the only difference we have in the case of NAD and FAD, right? Now, flavoproteins, that is one, another imp very important feature is uh, uh, the flavoproteins, it can carry these electrons or hydrogen from one substrate and directly it can uh, deliver it to oxygen. Usually NAD, uh, uh, it uh, usually is not found in this kind of a reaction. I hope this part is clear, okay? So, uh, FAD is again, uh, it is... Uh, um, Vitamin is coenzyme, which is formed of two moieties, the flavin ribitol monophosphate and adenosine monophosphate. The flavin, uh, uh, what you call uh, ribitol monophosphate is formed of the riboflavin uh, or the flavin ribitol and a single phosphate molecule. And this nucleotide is known as a flavin mononucleotide and adenosine monophosphate, as you already know, it is formed of adenine, the ribosugar and the uh, phosphate group. The a flavin um, mononucleotide it is a uh, pseudonucleotide okay this whole uh, flavin adenine dinucleotide it, it gets involved in redox reactions wherein it can actually uh, reduce some uh, sorry oxidize some substrates and get itself reduced to FADH2 and it can also revert back to its oxidized state by giving off electrons or protons okay so that is all about the flavin adenine dinucleotide fine thank you